Hi lock lovers, let's talk about September favorites today. My first item is Trader Joe's Nourish Oil Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. I like this moisturizer because it's not too heavy, not too light, it's just right for fall. And this retails, I think, for six, about six to eight dollars at Trader Joe's. So this is a good buy. My next item is, I bought this at Whole Foods. It's kind of pricey for the small bottle. It comes in a roll-on formula. It's a natural scent. It's called a Water Goddess. It's a fragrance oil. And I just applied this. I like I like this because I like a lot of scent. Not a lot like heavy scent, but I like to smell the scent throughout the day. Just a light touch. And this affords me that because I can reapply it really quickly behind my on my wrist, behind my ears. It's a nice musky but light scent. And it's very right on target for fall. This retails for about I think $13, yes, it's very pricey, but you, a little bit goes a long way and you can reapply it throughout the day. And on a side note, um, Whole Foods, as well as other stores, have natural oils with really exotic, spicy, romantic smells. And I think I'm going to try this for, um, to, for I think I'm going to take some regular jojoba oil, put it at the ends of my locks, moisturize it first. The jojoba oil does not have a smell to it. And then I'm going to apply some of that um, scented oil at the tips of the locks. So when, you know, when you walk by, you swing, oh, you get a little whiff of it. When you're in bed, on top, you know, you get a little whiff, he gets a little whiff. Sorry, that was a side note. My next item is, all of my old summer t-shirts. Why? Cotton summer t-shirts with no glitter, yada yada. Because I can take those old ones, simply split them in half, and when my locks are wet, I can wrap it around and it will help the locks to dry faster. And that's what you want for these fall winter months. You don't want your hair to stay too wet, too long. So that's a good idea to try for any of your old cotton t-shirts that you no longer want. Just wash them, put them behind the door of your bathroom and leave them there for when you have to dry your locks. My next item is my mix. I have tried natural as well as commercial um, makeup removers. I've tried 10 to 12. And this mixture is by hands down for me, the best that I've had yet. And this is just a mixture half and half of Dickinson's, the original. Please don't get anything else but the original. Dickinson's um, Witch Hazel. This retails for about 630 to 650. I got this one at Target. I mix the Witch Hazel with extra virgin olive oil. And it doesn't need to be refrigerated. I mix it in a little bottle. You see how the, the witch hazel just goes right back down. But I mix it, shake it up, apply it on a pad, let, let it soak into the pad, and apply it to the eye makeup. And speaking of makeup, I actually tried the... Mega Plush Volume Express. I did not like it. I didn't like the way it um, transferred. Uh, it's sort of, you know, once you, you, you sweat a little bit, even in the fall, if you sweat just a little bit or you just happen to, and uh, you'll see a little bit coming down because it's a gel formula and it's very, very difficult to remove. It's like grease paint. So you really have to get in there. And that's why I really needed that mixture with the olive oil and witch hazel. It really takes it off well. But I decided to stay with Mega Volume, um, I'm sorry, the Falsies Volume Express. This is much better than the Mega Plush 
Express. I know what they were going for with the gel formula, but it didn't work. So I'm sticking with this one all the way. And another product I really like. I've been using this for more than eight months now because hands down, it's better than the pricier brands I've seen at Sephora. I have bought two different brands at Sephora. I know Josie Moran. I'm sorry, I'm speaking about a contouring, contouring um, application. And this is the Physician's Formula Baked Oatmeal Compact. This works well, highlighting and contouring. It works better, uh, just as good as the Sephora brands. It's convenient, even better. Hands down, I like this. Really nice for fall. And because we're going to be wearing more protective styles, because you don't want your hair on your wool coats or your sweaters, you're going to need more rubber bands. But the longer and thicker your hair is, I would suggest not buying the small rubber bands. Go for the larger ones. Let me see. Yeah, well, you, you can't really tell, but there's, you can um, buy them in packs of 100 to 300, I guess. These are the smaller original ones. You may want to try the bigger ones. Even if you have medium um, or short, shorter length locks, the type of styles you want to rock, you may need bigger um, rubber bands. So I suggest looking for those first before buying the small ones and they tend to burst, you know. And yes, in fall as well as in winter, you still do need sunblock. Now Target used to make the Neutrogena dupe uh, with the 30 SPF. I don't know what happened. It was a really, really good dupe, but this is good for women of color, brown skinned girls, because it doesn't leave that kind of pasty white masky film that you tend to get from commercial, other commercial sunblocks. So the Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock formula but it has to be 30 SPF. The higher you go, yes, I've tried, the higher you go, um, the pastier it, be it becomes. But this is a good brand. And if Target were to make that dupe again, I would buy it again. I've been using this now for two years. And in between, because I love to try new products, I've tried other um, brands, Banana Boat, and yes, Josie Moran also, but None have come close to Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in the SPF 30. And this retails for seven to, I'd say $9.99. And I don't really like too many commercial products. I try to make natural things, not only because it's better for my body, but it's cheaper. And it tends to last a little longer, but oh my goodness. Mm. This Love Spell Body Butter, Deep Softening Body Butter by Victoria's Secret. Oh my goodness, it is the business, as you um, New Yorkers would say, not New Yorkers, Americans. It's sort of a pale lilac, creamish color, nice consistency. But that's not what sold me. That isn't what sold me. It's just that this scent will be on you forever. It's cherry blossom and peach flavor. Just imagine, because I've had this, I've bought this two times already. Taking your, just imagine taking your winter or fall coat off and the scent just explodes off of you. It stays on a very long time. I love this. I love this from Victoria's Secret. And it may last a little bit longer if you get the spray to go with it. And you know, you, you spray your body first before you put this on. It lasts even longer, but you don't even need that. I really love this love spell by Victoria's Secret. Blah, 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 blah. Especially when they have their $5 sales. Mm -hmm. And for winter eyes to protect your eyes, especially as it's getting colder and you are going to put on, even if you don't wear a lot of makeup, you wear at least mascara 
you know, you're, you're, can't, you're still sort of tugging even a little bit on that skin when you have to take that off. And I find that using one third vitamin E oil and I'm sorry, two thirds vitamin E oil, I'm sorry, two thirds vitamin E oil mixed with evening primrose oil, one third evening primrose oil, mix that together on a Q-tip and just apply it along the eye area that keeps it um, moist and hydrated and it preserves the eye. This, this vitamin E is in capsule formula. I prefer the capsule formula because when you make this mixture, it only lasts for about a week and you have to keep it refrigerated. So the capsules are just burst and each week I can just make a batch and use the Q-tip to dab it around the eyes. I find this has been very helpful for me. I've been using this for about four months now, to be honest. I like it. My next item is um, this lip, this lippy. It's in color Copper Tone and it's by Black Opal. And I tr like to try a lot of these lip glossy products. And if you're looking for those flesh tone type ones, I think this one is the best hand down, hands down so far that I've seen. Maybe they're, they're maybe better, but I got this at Dwayne Reed for $7, but you may be able to get it at a cheaper price elsewhere because as you know, Dwayne Reed is uh, very expensive, but this is in copper tone. And I've had this one for a while, but this is like a staple for fall. Love it, love it. I have it on now, but it's just a light, just a light wash of brightness, a little bit dark, you know, brighter than my, my lip color. I like it. And my last, my last four favorite is spray bottles. Spray bottles for water, spray bottles for oil, for of course, your locks, love your locks. Yes, for four, because you don't want to every single time be washing your hair. You know, of course you should wash it at least once a month. It's up to you. But uh, to moisturize it um, in between, spray bottle of water, spritz, 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 dampen, 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 not the scalp, but the, the I'd say the, the two thirds of your hair, the latter two thirds of your hair. After you moisturize that, another spray bottle, maybe with jojoba, olive oil, whatever your mixture is, spray, 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 squeeze it in, squeeze it in, let that hair stay moisturized from that cold. Just remember, please uh, be careful with the castor oil. As you know, it's a humectant. If, if the air is really dry, it will pull the moisture from your locks. So just be careful with castor oil in the fall to winter months. And those are my September favorites. And I hope that, well, someone it was helpful for someone you might want to give one of those products a try as i've said i have been using some of these products either two years one year or eight months okay luck lovers until next time bye